What is up, good people? It's redefined to the TV. And so we made a post earlier today, and I just feel like we should probably talk about that. We're gonna talk about keep it private until you know it's permanent. And kind of what we did when we were dating, people were asking about it. We touched on something similar before, but I want to go more in depth about how we didn't change our Facebook status. Nobody knew our business. Nope. Uh, when we were dating, the only people who really knew was our family, yeah. our pastors, yeah. and our counselors. And there's a reason why we did that. Most of you all know, I know I've mentioned in other episodes that I had a really bad church breakup. You know, there is nothing more messy, messy. than a church breakup at a small church. You know, you want mess? Break up at church in a small church. Both of y'all be in the same choir, y'all no longer talk. You know, y'all in the same ministry. Y'all in like the same, on the same pew. The same pew. And sometimes you'll be tempted to actually leave the church. You will. You're like, you'll want to just be like, I just want to like dismiss myself. <laughs> Seriously, I just want to like, you know what, I don't need, I find this a whole bunch of churches. Yeah. Surely I can find one. But I, at that time, I really loved my church. I really loved my pastor. I wasn't trying to leave, but just the amount of drama and mess that goes on with that type of thing sometimes it just makes you sometimes like you know what just I, I can find somewhere else to go yeah. to praise the Lord but we have to understand that just because we're hurt doesn't mean that we have to relocate I know that if I would have relocated I would not met I would not have met my amazing husband sitting next to me so wow. I think it's really important that yeah it hurts church breakups suck um, and when everybody's in your business or you have a public relationship and then you have a public breakup, it can be really messy. And that's why we're saying, you know what, you may want to keep it private. Yeah. Um, but just because it hurts doesn't mean you need to move. Sometimes you just need to stand still, allow God to heal you, allow God to do some things in your heart. Because I know in that season, I really got a lot closer to God. Like he showed me some things about myself or showed me where my focus should be. Yeah. And once I got my focus back, then I was able to be collided with my purpose. Yeah, so I, I think two things that we learn from this is, number one, God exercises vengeance many times by turning your pain place into a praise place. Yeah. The very place that praise my wife place. was hurting, the very place that she had to experience pain, mm -hmm. the enemy wanted to use her pain to make her run. This is a word right. because a lot of us, when we're uncomfortable, when we don't like something, when it gets difficult, we run. But could it be that is the very place that God is going to use mm -hmm. what you're going through right now? Right. As a testimony later. Y'all heard the colloquialism before. You don't have a testimony until you've been tested. Right. This mess is going to turn into a message. message. That literally happened Which for you us. you tripped over, you going to jump over or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. One of those. So I want us to understand this really clearly. If we're looking for people's acceptance, mm -hmm. if we want people's endorsement, if you want to portray that you're in a place that you're not, mm -hmm. you'll post everything. You'll share everything. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of people are struggling with depression and stress, but you couldn't tell based on what they post. Right. And so what we have to do is be so secure behind the retina display, mm -hmm. behind the ING. Right. So just because he gave you flowers don't mean post it. Just because she cooked you lunch doesn't mean right. post it. Like, I need to know, I need to know if heaven has approved this relationship. Exactly. Because until Listen. I know if this is God's will, I'm not posting it. Nope. I'm not. We didn't tell nobody, y'all. It now, seemed I like mean, we just popped up married. It's I mean, like we, it was a select, it was a select, they select were like family. Few. It was, I mean, and very, 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 very close friends yeah. at the time. I, I didn't want, because of what I went through before, I was like, I ain't telling nobody nothing. Like, I, people don't even know I was dating. Yeah. <laughs> then I popped up engaged. So, I mean, I literally came to church with an engagement ring on. Yeah. And people were like, Where did congratulations, you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like. Yeah. So, um, and I even had to like, well, who is he? Like, where'd you meet him? Cause I was yeah. super active at my church. Yeah. And so, um, right. people expected to, to know my business, but when you've made the decision, like, you know what, I'm going to do this the right way and God's way. And nobody needs to know about it, but me and God or whoever's involved, nobody can come in and mess things up, you know? And if it doesn't work out, then you know what? It was just between you and that person and everybody ain't got to know your business, yeah. you know? Be friends get approved, yeah. get counsel, Absolutely. then post. All right. right. So, so we view it like this. Then We're post. laying concrete. Mm -hmm. We're laying concrete. Right. And the reason we don't want everybody to walk on it yeah. is because they'll leave their imprints on our particular relationship that we're trying to build. Right. We're going to show you the relationship once the concrete is solid. Exactly. Once it has been built. Right. Once we know God is on this. Once we got our confirmation. Had a chance to dry. Once they had a chance to dry. Then 
we told people about it. So one person said, uh, what about your friends? They didn't feel some type of way or like, you know, you were rushing it. If they didn't know, we weren't that close. That's just the truth. We weren't that close. We weren't that close. Uh, and I had close friends that I told about, like, when I got engaged. And to see if they were your real friends, they were happy for me. Yeah. Most of my real friends yeah. were very happy for me. Yeah. So... Everybody can't handle what God is about to do in your life. Right. Some people can handle your blessings only to a certain level. Yeah. And so we would encourage, until you know it's God, keep it hushed. This don't mean we sneaking and sinning. No. This just you have means, accountability for right. sure. This just means we're waiting for God's endorsement. Exactly. Before we get y'all acknowledged. That green light. Redefine TV. Where we're redefining relationships righteously. righteously.